What's up, Trap Fam? Welcome back to Trap Bistro TV. You chopped it up with your boy, Kevin. We got my girlfriend, Cindy, in the house today. Hello. And we're in the orange jungle. All this garden was thanks to her. And today we got a special recipe for you guys. We're making Trapsville, not Nashville, Trapsville hot frog legs. So we're gonna be frying up some frog legs, and that's actually a little bit of a twist. Tell them why, Cindy. Well, I'm Cambodian, so in my culture, uh, my nickname they gave me when I was younger was Hing. And that means bullfrog because I was chubby and um, I cry all night. <laughs> so we're going to be frying up some hing legs tonight. Stay tuned and check it out. All right, guys. So we actually started this recipe last night. You want to marinate overnight. Mm -hmm. You want to salt and pepper it and then soak it in buttermilk. We've got the frog's legs. About to split them right in the middle. There we go. Yeah, it looks amazing. All right, then we're gonna hit it with some salt and pepper. Coat that in that salt and pepper. And then we're gonna tenderize it. We're gonna coat that whole thing with some buttermilk. We're gonna soak, it's gonna tenderize the meat. Soak it in buttermilk. So we got that right here, already soaking. It's already been marinating overnight. Now we're gonna take it and bread it in the flour. Before you do that though, we season every step. We don't like bland food around here, so we're gonna put salt and white pepper into the flour. Okay, mix. We're gonna stir that up. All right, all the flours and the salt has mixed in. All right guys, now, we're gonna take the frog leg and just let it drip that excess buttermilk off. So let it drip it off, not too much, and then we're gonna put it up into that flour. All right, shake off that excess flour, and you're gonna put it on a wire rack chill out for about five minutes. That's going to make sure that coating sticks then just slide off and we fry. All right, let's go ahead and let's get another one. That's a big leg right there. I can already tell it's gonna be nice, juicy, and crispy. Yeah, that traps with hot glaze, that really makes it spicy. And you know Cambodians eat spicy. I'm Vietnamese, so you know we eat like mild spicy. <laughs> we eat everything. Now, if you guys wanna make it extra crispy, after it comes out of the flour, you can also re-dip it into the batter and into the flour again. But I just like mine original. When you go to KFC, what do you get? Extra crispy or do you get original? I like original because I, I like a little kind of like moist to my chicken. All right, let's get our, our pot full of oil right there. There we go, up in that oil. Give that sizzle, that's what you want. All right, about five minutes, five, seven minutes. I'm gonna take that out. Go ahead and put on another wire rack here, okay? Oh, that's beautiful. Nice and golden brown right there. All right, guys. Now, let's go ahead and make that Nashville hot chili oil. So basically, what we got is three tablespoons of cayenne. Cindy, why don't you put that in the bowl there? Cayenne. And you're gonna put some salt and pepper to season it. So we're using white pepper. It's a little bit more of a kick too. 
a little bit of brown sugar. Now that sweetness is really gonna help cut through some of that heat. And garlic, you know we love our garlic. So we're gonna take some of that frying oil and we're gonna put that up into this sauce here. Mm. Put half a cup or so, and then Sydney's gonna whisk that together for us, okay? Smells froggy licious. Right, guys, we're gonna get that chili oil, whisk that bad boy up, and then we're gonna brush it on. Okay, because the frog legs are nice and hot, it's gonna stay crispy as we brush this hot oil on. It's gonna soak that cayenne all up in there. Get it all up in there, guys. Ain't that beautiful right there? Ooh wee. Look at that. We trenched it. <sighs> we drenched them frog legs in that hot oil. All right, guys, as you can see, it came out really crispy, even after being drenched in some hot oil. So, you want the crispy one, Cindy? Uh, uh either one. Here you original. go. Oh, uh, look at that, guys. Look at these frog oh. legs. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it smells so good. You can smell the cayenne, the garlic. Oh, And that so brown good. sugar, that sweetness from yes. the brown sugar. All right, let's go ahead and eat. Okay, cheers. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm. Oh, boy. <coughs> it's spicy. <laughs> You can taste the guy, definitely. I love that brown sugar though. That gives it a little bit of sweetness too. Mmm. It's the bomb, guys. Frog is super tender. It tastes like chicken, but it's soft. Even when you mm. cook it, well done like I did, it's still very juicy and tender. It's not dry. That sauce is the boss. All right, what's up, guys? So I came to the party late. But I'm still going to try these frog legs that Kevin, a.k.a. Trap Bistro, whipped up for us. It's deep fried. And yeah, it's been a minute since I had frog legs. Haven't had them in a while, so i going to see how it is. I'm going to taste it once plain and then once with sriracha. Alright, let's do it. Mmm. As cliche as it sounds, this tastes like chicken, guys. Like a chicken wing, but with leaner meat, and there's a slight hint of, you know, gaminess in there. But <laughs> oh, guys, it's so hot that I, it, it just gave me like, it just cleared my sinus. <laughs> Cindy's Cambodian, so if it's too hot for her, you know it's too hot. So you can adjust the spice level by changing the amount of Ooh. cayenne you put. But definitely put oh. pepper, put salt for seasoning, garlic brown sugar okay we yep. use three tablespoons of cayenne you guys can adjust it to your taste it's not for beginners i'm telling you so it's a tear jerker as, as well <laughs> yeah, that trap's so hot Woo! chili oil it's no joke so hope you guys like that recipe go ahead hit that uh subscribe button drop me a comment one time go check out Sydney's channel orange jungle and follow me on my instagram at my orange jungle all right guys till next time trap bistro and orange jungle out bye and don't forget to water your plants Throw <laughs>